Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome to a new Let's Play on a game called Shelter. This is the first game in a series in which you play as a mother animal protecting her babies, or in this case, a badger protecting her cubs. The goal is to keep them alive as you journey through the world by avoiding predators, the harsh elements, and even the risk of starvation. So let's go ahead and start a new game and meet our little badger family. Okay guys, here they are. This, of course, this big one right here is our mother badger. And we have five babies to look after. There's four in the background all happy and healthy, but then there's this one over here who's very pale and very sick because um, he's just so hungry. So let's go uh, a little bit deeper into the den. And as you can see right up here, there's already a piece of food waiting for us. So if we click the left mouse button, then we can pick that up in our mouths and uh, bring it over to our poor little baby over here who is just starving away. We uh, just click again right next to him and he will eat that up. Uh, I guess it's a turnip, right? He'll eat that up and look at him now. He's so happy. <laughs> So happy and uh, ready to journey out into the world. So let's uh, go down this path here and try to find our way out of the den. Of course, you uh, control the mother badger with the W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard. And if you click the left mouse button while you're walking, <laughs> she'll send a little bark out to her babies and they'll bark back to her, which is just adorable. <laughs> I guess it's just to uh, call them and let them know that mom is around and uh, that they should definitely stay behind her and hurry up. <laughs> don't lag behind, little ones. You don't want to get caught by uh, anything lurking around in here. It looks like we're going through a little tunnel now. This is a bit of a tight squeeze here for uh, so many little badgers. But uh, they seem okay with it. Oh, they're very excited to uh, get out of here. Okay, little guys. <laughs> no, shoving, uh, no shoving your mama here. We have little leaves blowing in the breeze. They're running so fast. <laughs> and it looks like we're uh, almost out of here. We can just uh, go around this bend here. I think there's another curve in the road and then we should be right out of the den. We'll be seeing light pretty soon. They're so excited. There we go. <laughs> so uh, this is the outside of the badger's den. This is our uh, little home here. And of course it says if you press the shift key, then you can run. So let's run over to this turnip over here and grab it out of the ground. And now we can uh, feed one of our little babies. You can only feed one at a time because uh, there's only enough for one. So it's a bit tricky to make sure that all of them eat the uh, amount that they need. Of course, um, if they start to feel too hungry, then their coats will get pale. And that's how you can tell that uh, they might need some food <laughs> before they get sick. They're a little bit slower than Mama, of course, so we need to always make sure that they're right behind us so nothing uh, tries to pick them off. And as you can see, if you headbutt these trees with the apples on them, then the uh, apples will fall down and they can munch on them <laughs> once they uh, get over there. It looks like all of our badgers are doing all right so far. Some of them are a little bit paler than the others, but we'll just keep our eyes out for uh, different food. I see another apple tree over there, so let's run over as fast as we can and headbutt the apple right down. Oopsie. That didn't seem to work, little badger. There we go. <laughs> I let go a little bit too soon. So now that guy's eating. I think he's eaten quite a bit, hasn't he? We're going to have to keep track of that. All of the uh, baby badgers have different markings on their backs. So if we wanted to, we could try to name them all, but it might be a little bit hard to uh, keep them all in our heads, I guess. We'll have to try. If you have any uh, ideas for names for our badger family, then just uh, let me know and we will try our best to remember which one is which. This game is really beautiful. You can see uh, little owls sticking out of the uh, tree there. <laughs> That's a lot of owls, isn't it, for one tree? A big uh, owl family. I don't see any more food around here. Where is the food? Okay, there's two apples on that tree on that side, so we better go over there. This is probably um, the best place to find food at the moment. As we go further into the game, deeper into the world here, we're going to have um, less and less food to find around the world. So we want to make sure that everyone is eating right now while there's an abundance of uh, food to find. 
it looks like we're probably in a springtime world right now. All the trees are in bloom, the leaves are fluttering in the breeze. <laughs> so the animals are having a pretty good time at the moment. They don't have to worry about uh, the lack of food in the winter time. And, uh, oh, it looks like we can catch frogs, too. Um, let's see, any frogs around here? They'd probably be uh, more toward the water, so we'll just keep an eye out for them. But I see this little turnip up here, so we might as well grab that. <laughs> a little bit easier to catch than a frog. Now, you can uh, choose which one to give it to, but it's kind of tricky because uh, these guys can be quite greedy. <laughs> so you kind of have to try to uh, pick the one that is the palest and drop the food in front of him. I see the frog right there. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, he's running away. <laughs> there we go, I got him. Okay, so you have to kind of run at the frog and then press the uh, left, left button on your mouse to catch him. It's a little bit hard to do, especially when your uh, little babies are following you, but it looks like we can go into this log here and cross the uh, river, cross it safely. Anyway, we don't want our little uh, Badger babies getting swept away in the current. <laughs> They're just so cute though, aren't they? Following their little mama around. So let's see, there's another uh, apple tree over here. So let's headbutt that thing right down. There we go. And maybe I can try to give it to you. Uh, oh, hold on little guy. You are not the one who needs the food right now. This guy right here is looking quite pale. So Let's uh, hope that he ate that. <laughs> I think he did. I think we're good. So let's see. Which way can we go here? I think we need to uh, start traveling up the hill. And uh, this tall grass is very, very good for keeping yourself hidden from predators. And eventually we will run into some creatures who want to try to eat um, not only our little badgers, but our mama badger as well. The uh, entire family. So we have to keep that in mind where all the tall grass is so we can hide away when uh, those animals come out and try to get us. But uh, all of our little badgers are doing very well right now, so I don't think we have anything to worry about yet. Let's get this apple down for uh, the little guys to eat. I think that guy's eaten quite a bit, hasn't he? <laughs> Some of them are quite greedy, aren't they? So let's uh, get this apple too and try to feed it to one of the ones that are very, uh, very pale. Let's see, which one of you needs it the most? Um, the guy in the back with the uh, white back right here looks like he's quite pale as well. So let's feed him. And hopefully that will uh, brighten up his coat a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> he might have eaten too. It's a little bit hard to tell which one really needs it unless they're very, very pale. Like uh, the one at the beginning of the game, he was quite sick and he couldn't move anymore because he was so hungry. Come on, little guys. <laughs> Keep up with your mom. Oh, here's another turnip. I almost missed that. Have to really keep an eye out for these things. I believe if you uh, pass nearby a uh, different type of food, then your little pups will <laughs> run over to it and start barking because they, they definitely want you to notice that there's some food for the taking. So that's helpful, but it's also a little bit worrying when your cubs run off on their own. So we definitely want to keep an eye on them. Let's get this apple too. And hopefully one of them will eat it. <laughs> oh, not you. You don't need it at all. Surely one of your siblings could use it some more. Uh, maybe this guy right here? <laughs> he uh, doesn't have a stripe down his spine at all. Just a big circle um, a big circle marking all over his uh, backside. So all of them are different. We can definitely uh, tell them apart, but <laughs> if we name them, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit hard to keep them straight. So let's see. Is there any more food up here? I thought I saw a little red apple poking out of the treetops, but maybe not. <laughs> let's see if uh, we can find anything. Okay, there's there's a turnip again, I believe. Pull that out of the ground and give it to one of our babies here. Oh gosh, which one really needs it? Let's see. I'm thinking you look like you're a little bit hungry right now. Is that true? Okay, there we go. Now he's looking a little bit better. Not too much to worry about yet because it's so early in the game. All we, we really need to worry about is making sure that our uh, little babies eat um, a balanced amount of food. Nobody is stealing all of the food for themselves because that would be 
That would not be good at all. And I see more apples up there. It's it's quite far away, but we can probably uh, just zip up there. Oh, it looks like we have another animal to catch too. What are these little uh, groundhogs or something? So if we move in the grass, then they can't really see us. And then we just jump out and grab them. <laughs> there we go. Now the badgers have um, a little rodent of some sort to eat as well. We'll give it to that guy right there because he looks like he's a little bit hungry now too. There we go. Are there any more? Here I see there are holes in the ground, but um, I don't see any more to catch. <laughs> so I think that's all we have, but of course there's this apple right here, ripe for the picking. So we might as well drop that down. And that guy is eating away. <laughs> and now we can uh, continue further down the path. It looks like there's a little waterfall that we'll get to pass under once we uh, get up that way. So let's hurry along and uh, send out a little bark to our babies so they know to catch up with us. <laughs> we don't want to leave them too far behind because uh, we don't want to risk them getting lost or picked off by something else. Here's that waterfall. <laughs> Nothing really behind it here for us to take. But here's some more tall grass too. Anything, uh, anything dangerous around here? I see some of the trees are changing already. It looks like it's actually, um, fall time here. We're in the autumn season, so here's another turnip for you guys. <laughs> there we go. That guy has a uh, little stripe along his spine, but he also has the white along his sides, or the cream color, rather, so that's how you tell him apart from, a. Uh, his sibling right next to him who doesn't have the ring around his entire body and let's see where are we going now oh is that a fox up there it looks like it so we need to chase this fox away I wonder if he'll try to steal our babies if we don't let's bark at him get out of here <laughs> get out of here little fox I'm guessing we can't catch him because he seems very very fast so let's make sure that he's uh, staying very, very clear of our little family here. Get out of here, little fox. Go, go, go. <laughs> Keep running. We don't want to see you around here. The little babies are barking too. <laughs> oh gosh, that guy looks like he's getting a little bit hungry back there. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Hopefully we can find some sort of food for him to munch on pretty soon. And get out of here. <laughs> Goodness, little fox, you are uh, sticking very close by, aren't you? I have a feeling he is uh, looking to catch our little babies off guard, but we're not going to let him. <laughs> All five of them are still following us very, very well, so nothing to worry about yet. Get out of here. <laughs> Chase him away down the hills. Yeah, I think that guy right in the front is getting very, very hungry. So hopefully we can find something. Okay, I see some apples down at the bottom of the hill. So let's hurry over there as fast as we possibly can without losing our babies in the process. Because that wouldn't help us at all. And let's chase this guy away one more time. Go on. <laughs> and here's a uh, another turnip for us. So maybe we'll give this to um, this guy right here because he's so hungry. Look at him. Hopefully that'll brighten up his coat a bit. There we go. Now he's looking like his old self. <laughs> so let's knock down these apples and then I'll chase that guy away again because he is uh, getting disturbingly close to us at the moment. Our babies will eat those and get out of here, little fox. Goodness, is that his den right there maybe? I'm not sure. No, it looks like they ate those apples very, very quickly. <laughs> there he goes. He's zooming off into the distance. Is there any more food to collect around here? It doesn't seem like it. At least I don't see any right now. Oh, wait a second. There is another apple tree up there. So we don't want to miss that because uh, it looks like a couple of our other little cubs are getting a little bit hungry as well. And there's some turnips down there too. Good. <laughs> so nothing to worry about yet. Let's knock this down. And our babies are following, right? There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a second. Don't you eat that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, he grabbed it. If you click the uh, left button on your mouse, then you can actually grab the food that they're eating right out of their mouths <laughs> if they're being too greedy and give it to somebody else. Since we fed that guy once, he uh, kind of feels like he should be getting all the rest of the food too, I guess, which is not the case. We want to make sure that all of our babies... Uh, aren't starving at this point. Whoopsie. <laughs> Going straight into the tree there. Okay. This guy in the back, 
with uh, the complete white back is definitely hungry. So let's give him that. And I think his sibling right here is quite hungry as well. So we'll give that to you. There we go. All nice and full now. <laughs> so come on, little guys. Let's go around the bend here and see what's in store for us. They're all following along pretty well at the moment, which I am happy about. <laughs> I don't think you can pick up your babies and carry them, so if anything happens, if they get too hungry, that might be a problem because we certainly don't want to leave them behind out in the wilds. It was one thing when they were in the safety of our den and we had a turnip uh, right there next to us, but it'll be a little bit tricky if... Uh-oh, wait a second. Whoa. <laughs> oh dear, we have a huge bird in this part of uh, the little forest here and that uh, shadow shows where the bird is watching. So we need to make sure it goes past us and then run as fast as we can into the next uh, patch of tall grass. Come on, little guys. <laughs> you have to keep up. Otherwise, this guy's going to catch you and take you away. And we definitely don't want that. So let's see. We have to get into this log next. So let's wait for his shadow to pass overhead again and then run as fast as we can. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> as fast as you can, little ones. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know if it's an eagle or a hawk, but it definitely saw our badgers and was ready to munch on them. Let's wait for him to pass overhead again and then run. Run. <laughs> oh, he's turning around. Okay, he didn't see us that time, so that's good. Let's see. We can pass under here in more tall grass, which is probably a good idea because uh, the more tall grass we can walk in, the better at this point. <laughs> and I think there's just a little gap over here if we go all the way to the corner. There we go. And then we can uh, cross the gap as fast as we possibly can right now. Come on, little guy, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. He's looping around, hurry. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. He is uh, quite menacing. It looks like there's a little tunnel that we can go through right here. So let's uh, carry along this side and make sure that all our little babies are following. <laughs> Their little heads poke out of the grass when they bark, which was adorable. But uh, let's wait for the shadow to pass overhead. There it is. Okay, let's go. Hurry, little guys, right inside. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I see them all. And now, oh gosh, where can we go? It looks like there's some grass right to the side there. Right off to the right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I think the uh, the hawk missed them, so that's good. And I guess we can continue along this way. It looks like we probably want to make it up to that tall grass at the very top of the hill. So let's stand at the uh, corner here at the very edge of the grass. I'm not sure if you can see me with my head poking out so much. I'm going to hope not. <laughs> there he goes. He's passing by and let's run. Run the gap. Oh gosh, he's turning around. Oh no, little guy. <laughs> okay, he didn't see him. He was uh, sticking out of the grass there, but the, the bird did not see him at all. So that's good. And we'll let him pass by one more time as we uh, try to head into this tall grass here. It looks like we're getting to the base of a tree. A nice, beautiful pink tree. <laughs> okay, here's the shadow. So get ready. Run. <laughs> Run, little babies. Don't look behind you. Are they all following? I think they are. Okay, we'll do a head count when we get up here. <laughs> a quick little head count. Let's see. Did all of them survive? It looks like at one, two, three, four, five, we are good. We passed the uh, first predator, but it looks like uh, we have to cross this log here. This is a little bit un uh, <laughs> uneasy. I don't like the looks of this. Let's see if we can make it across. Oh dear, this doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. It, it's never a good idea to go into a log that is that unstable. But now uh, we're at the bottom of a ravine here in the middle of the night. So that's probably a good place to uh, end this video. But if you would like to see us journey through this deep, dark forest ahead of us, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading shelter every week on Fridays, and we have plenty of adventures to hold us over in the meantime. I'll also leave a link in the description below when the next episode is online. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.